The door is open. You mind if I come in? Uh, Matt Hooper. Oh, hi, everybody. Is your husband here? Yes, yes. I'd really like to talk to him. Yes, so would I. Come in, come in. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, why? How nice. So, how was your day? Swell. <laughs> yeah. I brought red and white. I didn't know what you'd be serving. Uh, oh, nice. Is anybody eating this? No. So my husband tells me you're in sharks. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I've never heard it put quite that way before, but yes, yes, I am. I'm in sharks. I, I love sharks. You love sharks. I love them. I love them. When I was 12 years old, my father bought me a boat, and I took it out to the coat, uh, to the cape to fish, and I hooked a scup. And as I was reeling it in, I hooked a four and a half foot baby thresher shark who proceeded to eat my boat. And he ate the oars, the hooks, the sea cushions. He turned an inboard into an outboard. They scared me to death. So I swam back to shore and I turned around and I saw my boat being taken apart. And ever since then, I, yes, I have studied sharks. And that's how I know I'm gonna to go to the Institute tomorrow and tell them you still have a shark problem. Why would you tell them that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I thought that you told me the shark was caught. I heard it on the news. I heard it on the cave station. They caught a shark, not the shark. Not the shark that killed Chrissy Watkins. And probably not the shark that killed that little boy, which I wanted to prove by cutting the shark open. But you want to let that breathe a little? You know, you'll be the last rational man left on the island after I leave tomorrow. Where are you going? I'm going on the Aurora. The Aurora? What's that? It's a floating asylum for shark fanatics. Pure research. 18 months at sea. Martin hates boats. Martin hates water. He sits in his car when we go on the ferry to the mainland. I guess it's a childhood thing. There's a clinical name for it, isn't there? Drowning. Listen, is it true that most people get attacked by sharks in three feet of water about 10 feet from the mainland? Yeah. And before people started swimming for recreation, I mean, before the sharks knew what they were missing, a lot of these attacks went unreported. That's right. Now this shark that uh, that swims alone. Rogue. What's that called? A rogue. Rogue. This guy, he swims where the food is good until the food supply is gone. It's called territoriality. It's just a theory, but one I happen to believe in. Then why don't we go have one more drink and go down and cut that shark open? Martin, can you do that? I can do anything. I'm the chief of police. <laughs>